So you have to fight those who believe. What's the context, Sid? From when the Jews yeah. and the Christians. One day in the what's, what, war, what, what's, what exactly? What's the context, Sid? Oh, you don't believe that's relevant? No, 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 no. I'm asking the context. Context is all important, and you know it's important. We'll read the previous verse. You know it's all important. What's the context? What is it? What is it referring to? Well, I'll read the previous verse. Yeah. See what it says. Oh, you who believe. Yeah. Oh, you who believe. Yes. Verily, the Bushrikers, disbelievers, are impure. Disbelievers are impure. Let them not come near Al Majid Al Hafam. So that's a mosque which. We don't know where that mosque was, probably in Petra. After this year, and if you fear poverty, Allah will enrich you if he wills out of his bounty. So this previous verse is saying that disbelievers are impure. It then says, after saying disbelievers are impure, fight against them and forbid not unless they pay a tax. And, with willing and, what, what, and is, that, is, that, is that a universal statement for all non-Muslims, Sid? Well, I don't know. It's, you do, you know, you do know. No, no, doesn't apply no, to no, no, no. You do know. No, I don't. That's why I'm, I'm asking you the question. So you've never addressed this to a Muslim, and he's never answered that question to you, no. Sid. Yeah. No. Is I that right, Sid? Had, I haven't had Muslims say to me that the Quran doesn't apply today. But no, you're saying no. The Quran doesn't apply. No. Today. What happens, Sid, is that you have to apply the context. Okay. Well, we've. So we've, if it applies specific, if it applies specifically to the context, like for to find them and kill them wherever you find them which is often another verse that's very commonly used, yeah. but it refers to a particular era. Does it? Yes. So it doesn't apply so, today? So hold on a second. So what it talks about is the seven years of, uh, of, uh, of uh, the Muslims being thrown out of Mecca, and the treaty after treaty what being broken. So hold on a second. The hold on a second. No, where does it say that? That's where that is where the where does it say that? That is where the scholarly approach comes in. See. Oh, okay. Oh, what? And, and, so, and so you what know that. You and you know to? that. No, I don't know and that. And you know that. So what scholar are you referring all, all, to? All all scholars, all renowned scholars. All renowned scholars. If if if. Okay. Give me an example if, of one let, renowned well, scholar. Well, let, let me let me a date. Let me give you let me give you a better example. No, I want that example. No, let me give you a better example. You've given that example. Let me give you a better example. First two, you said all scholars accept it. Yes. So give me one scholar and give me the date of that scholar. Uh, what, what the date of when he said it? Yes. Well, I'm not going to remember the date when he actually said well, it, roughly, am I? The century. That's ridic ridiculous, isn't it? Well, give me the roughly the date. It doesn't have to be, you know, exact date, rough date. The the, the scholarly opinion about what I've said the, and the very testimony of its actuality and its reality yes. is that throughout history we don't see what we would have seen if you are right. If the Quran treats, we if, do if, see the, it. if the Quran we do talk, see it. if the Quran, we so, see ISIS so, at the moment, okay, fighting and killing so Christians. The, so the Crusades, exactly because so of the Crusades first. were because no, of Christianity. No, Two wrongs don't make a right. No, I'm asking you a question. You're saying we I'm don't see Muslims you, killing. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Boko Haram are okay, killing. Are you going to shout? Are you going to shout over me to make a point? What you're saying is wrong. Absolutely wrong. Do you feel that you have? Do you feel that you have to shout over me to try to make a point? No, 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 no. So, Sid, are you saying that you have to shout over me to make a point, Sid? I'm saying I've asked you to well, 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 stay, give me well, a scholar and the stay, date that Stay spoke. civil. You cannot. Stay civil. You cannot. And stay sensible. And, and most I'm Muslims, asking you a question. Was the Crusades a consequence of Christianity? You're changing the subject now. You cannot justify I'm Islam. giving you... So let's change I'm, the I'm, no, let's talk no, about the Crusades. no. What I'm telling you is this. That if you claim that the Quran preaches the, the annihilation and the killing of innocent people. Yes. Number one, we would see it throughout history, especially amongst the most seen it throughout e especially history. amongst the most devoted of Muslims. Yes. So for example, when Salahuddin takes Jerusalem, according to your own historian, non-Muslim Carol Armstrong, she says Salahuddin goes into the synagogue, into the churches, and there was mass hell the next day. A striking difference, Sid, from when the Crusaders go in. Okay, so your right? evidence so, for that so, is Karen so, Armstrong. So, no, hold on a second. Hold on a second, Sid. Let, no, me, finish. The question. Let me finish You're my point. Karen Let me finish as my point. For Let me finish when was my Karen point. Armstrong Let me finish writing? my point. And the point being that those Muslims who adhered to those teachings of the Quran and were seen even today by modern Muslims as closer, much closer to Islam and the Quran than we are today and yet their example we don't see and in fact the British Army we have an armored vehicle named after Salahuddin did you know that 
Are you and the to... reason why... Hold on a Saladin second. Saladin was incredibly Sid, violent. Sid, 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 Saladin Sid, Saladin killed please. thousands of Let people. me finish my point, well, you're Sid. you're trying to say Saladin you know, wasn't violent. Let me finish my point, nice Sid. Man. I know it's uncomfortable. As quoted, I know it's getting Aaron uncomfortable. Armstrong from when? I know it's getting difficult, That's but let me finish my point, yeah? And the British Army today are taught about the example of Salahuddin. You know why, Sid? Because of the moral conduct that he had when he okay. took Jerusalem. Hold on a second. How many Let me finish. I'll give you an opportunity, How many Sid. Thousands I will give killed? you an opportunity, Sid. Don't be childish and feel no, and immature. You. What you're Let me finish. Is utter Let me finish. Let me Saladin finish. Was Let me finish. Violent. Let me finish, you know Sid. Let me finish, Sid. Right? So the British Army today learn about the example of Salahuddin. Now it's a okay, what's your evidence for that? Can I finish my point, Sid, no, please? No, your evidence? What's Sid, your evidence can I saying? finish my point, please, Sid? Thank you. Have you seen it can in the can, can I finish my point, please, Sid? All right? The British Army... Do you know that we have an... Do, Muslim, do you know that we have an armoured vehicle... Do you know that we have an armoured vehicle named after Salahuddin? Did you know that? Well, I've, I've educated you on something. Check it out on Google, right? So the reality is this. That do we see the manifestation, the manifestation of your interpretation of the Quran throughout history? Yes. The reality Starting is. Starting with Muhammad. Oh, please. Did Muhammad Sid, kill Sid, 800 people Sid, of the Jewish tribe of Sid, Now you are really getting desperate. Did he? Did he? This, Sid, you're really getting desperate oh, now. Desperate. You're getting Calling desperate Muhammad now. Muhammad violent as an example of violent Islam is getting desperate. That's your, si that's you your sign of desperation. Oh, because yeah, sign of desperation. because you won't let me finish my point. He killed 800 I'll people deal with that. Day. I'll deal with that. I'll deal with that. But let me finish my point first. You know, this is what we have. Well, tell me when it's my turn. People like Sid like to do what I call machine gun fire. So what they do is they raise hundreds of points in one small hundreds discussion. What's your evidence? Why do they do that? Why do they do that? Because they think if I sling enough mud, some of it is bound to stick. And that's the tactic that he uses. I asked you simple right, Now, questions. I'm giving you right. an example. Right. Your, what, I'm, where's your evidence Sid, from? I'm giving you an example that even modern day non-Muslim historians do not portray the things that you portray in the Quran modern, and modern. say that Muslims okay. throughout the world... Hold on a second, Sid. Well, we read the Quran ourselves. Listen, can I just finish my point, please? And then I'll give you an opportunity. Okay. I know you like talking, but... You know, I, I like it a bit as well, so let me finish and I'll let you have a chance. Now, so we don't see that. So when Salahuddin takes Jerusalem, for example, and we have mass held in the churches the next day, and the synagogues are told that your people will not be touched, that's a striking difference, Sid, from the women, the children, and even the animals that were not spared when the Crusaders went in. But you know what, Sid? The Muslims are very charitable. We don't attribute that to the teachings of Jesus. Neither do we attribute that to the teachings of the Bible. We attribute that to a people who were doing criminal acts. The problem, Sid, with yourself and many other Christians is every time Mr. Abdullah goes and does anything, it's because he's Abdullah it's because he's a Muslim and it's because he directly follows the Quran. A very simplistic and uncharitable, uncharitable way of looking at things. And I thought you guys were supposed to be more charitable than us, turning the other cheek. But your accusations, your pointing fingers, your assertions, they don't add up through history, Sid. And that's the problem that you have. Now, I'll give you a chance to come in, Sid. OK, right. So, I've asked this gentleman for the sources of what he's saying, and he cannot give me any sources for what he's saying. The only source that is reliable, as far as I'm concerned, is the Quran. So we're going to read the Quran and see what the Quran says. Now we've got a verse here, Surah 839. We can read as many verses before it as you want. <coughs> Fight them Why until there is no more Arabic? disbelief Just a minute, and religion is entirely of Allah. He doesn't know Arabic. And if they say certainly... Lame finish. Lame finish. Lame finish. Read it in Arabic. 
Okay, do you read Arabic? Uh, yes, of course. Okay. I read Arabic. Okay. No, no, you come and read no. it in Arabic then. I read it for you. No, you come and read it in Arabic and then. then you will make How many conclusion. people here understand Arabic? And then you will, will shit on it. One, no, one person. Please, we don't have to be abusive. Okay, so right. we've got one person who can benefit. Okay, two people right, can see, read Arabic. So what do you derive? I read the English translation. The English translation says, fight against them until there is no more disbelief and the religion is entirely of Allah. Is that a violent verse? No, carry on, now, carry on, carry on. Carry on, Sid, carry on, Sid. Okay, we'll read the next carry verse. Carry on, the whole, the whole chapter, please. please. I'm not going to read carry the whole on, chapter. Yeah. No, not the whole chapter. The verse. At least five or six. What does the next verse say? Right. All if of them, they please. turn away, they know Allah is your mola, your patron, an excellent example, an excellent helper. So if they become and Muslims, carry on, carry on. Carry on, Sid. If they become Muslims, no, you no longer have to fight. This is talking about the specific time. Sid, Sid, carry on. Hold on, hold on. Sid, carry on. Sid, carry on. So we've got to read some more. Sid, carry on. Carry on. Okay. Okay. Sid, Sid. Okay. Sid, please carry on. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, in my Quran, as you can see, there's blank afterwards. Why is that, Sid? He wants me to read 41. I don't know. I don't know. Because you're broke. But he wants me to read verse 41. So we'll see if it's got any relevance. And know that whatever of war booty you may gain, verily one fifth of it is assigned to Allah and to the Messenger, and to the near relatives of the Messenger, and to the orphans and to the wayfarer, if you believe. What's that got to do with fighting disbelievers, as in Surah 439? The relevance, the, the context is irrelevant. The context that's important is the fact that Muhammad, according to his traditions, which are confirmed by Buhari, Tabari, and Ibn Hisham, all of them have got this record, says that Muhammad killed 800 people from the Jewish tribe of Banu Kariza after he had defeated them. He had them killed and had were given to his men. What's, the, what's, what's the law for treason? That, now, Sid. you're saying... What's the law for treason, You're saying, Sid? You're saying Sid, Sid. that Muslims Sid, Sid, what's the law? not engage Sid. in violence. Sid, Sid what's the law for... Why is, what is the law for I'm treason? I'm not changing the subject. No, no, I'm asking I'm a question. I'm talking about what Muhammad did. What, what is the law for treason? I, we've just quoted Sid, the verse. Sid, I'm asking... Sid, Muhammad is Sid, the Sid, I'm asking you a question. That's, what's the law for treason? That's irrelevant. Why? I'm answering the question. Why? Why is it irrelevant? Is Islam promoting violence? Why is it irrelevant, Sid? The question is... Did Muhammad, peace be upon him, hold on. Islam promoting right. violence. Did Muhammad, did Muhammad promote violence? Did Muhammad peace be upon him? I'm saying yes, right. he did. All right. Have you finished? You, no, I haven't finished. Uh, keep going and I'll You're come in. You're saying yes, he did. Okay. You're saying no, Muhammad didn't right. promote violence. Islam doesn't promote right. violence. Right. I'm saying absolutely it does. Right. Okay. It's clear in the Quran. Right. It's from Muhammad. Right. It's from every century of Islam. There is no century of Islam that has not been violent. And today, Muslims are being incredibly violent throughout the world. Iraq, Syria, northern Nigeria. Sudan, more, we can go on more, and on more, and on. More than, people, more than any other people? More than any other people? Absolutely more okay. than any other people. Was Tony, Far more was, than was, was Tony Blair Christians a Christian? Christians are not fighting is, back is Tony Blair in Christian? these countries. Is Tony no, Blair Christian? Tony Blair is not a Christian. Is he an and he's not acting as a is Christian. Is he an evangelical Christian? No, he's not. And he was did not he, acting as a did Christian. Did he pray at Camp David before the Gulf War with Bush? You're Did desperate, aren't you? I'm change the subject. I'm asking you a we question. Can't justify Islamic I'm asking you a question. Let's just change the subject. I'm asking you a question. Let's talk about Tony Blair. I'm asking you a question. Let's talk about treason. Well, you've, Let's you, talk about well, anything other than the Sid, violence of Muhammad Sid, you've raised, and the violence of Islam. You've, ra you've done a machine gun I fire. I utterly you, condemn you, Islam. Sid, Sid, I utterly Sid, condemn Sid, his violence, Sid, which is prevalent Sid, today. See, absolutely Sid, prevalent shout, today. Sid, throughout Sid, the world. Shouting doesn't make you right. Okay, you give me an example. Shouting does not make you right. You give me an example. Sid, of Sid, violence carried Sid, out in the name of Christianity Sid, Sid, today in the shouting, world. Shouting does not make you right. Answer the question. Tony Blair and George... Tony Blair is not a Christian let me finish. And did not let do me anything finish. in the name of Christianity. Sid, stop shouting over me like a child. Be, be, be an adult and controlled. I've asked you somebody be that did something in the name of Sid, Christianity today in Have the world. Sid, be measured. Have some control. Have some restraint. Don't get emotional. Don't get emotional, Sid. Be an adult. Be a grown-up. Let's have a grown-up dialogue. Say, don't now See, now he's lost his focus. Now he's talking to somebody else in the crowd. No, she's answering your question. Well, Sid, I'm talking answer. to you. Why don't you have a conversation with me? Wow. Sister, if you don't mind, I'm quite capable of handling Sid. Okay, we'll answer the question. Right? But, but Sid has to allow me to speak. <laughs> now, Sid, let me speak. Let's have a conversation. Let's engage. We don't have to hate each other. Yeah, yeah. We don't have to get all angry and upset. 
Let's have an adult conversation. I am angry. Let's be mature. At what's going on in Iran? Well, Sid, I'm don't be. I'm angry at what's going on in Syria. Well, Sid. I'm angry at what's going Sid. on in Nigeria. Well, I'm angry at what's going on in Sudan. So am I. I'm angry at what's going on in so Pakistan. So am I, Sid. By Muslims. Sid. In the name of Islam. Sid. Sid. Promoting the Sid. Quran. Sid. Killing Christians. Right. Left, right, and centre. Sid, are you going to preach? Christians are are you, not are you just going to stand and preach? Are you okay. going go to have a conversation? Well, you, you're trying to justify it. No, I'm not. No, not at all, Sid. Well, not Islam. What I'm saying is, don't be blinkered like a horse in a race with your blinkers on not seeing the whole picture you have to look around you and see what's going on and then make your assertions you make them being blinkered it's now the, you, the point that I'll give it I'll, I'll give I'll, I'll try and I'll try and portray that if I, if I give a chance now 839 now he says Christians don't go and do these things it's only Muslims that go and do terrorism. Let's look at the CIA's own... No, hold on. Didn't say no, that. He said in the, name said in the name of Christianity. Right, in the name of Christianity, yes? Yes. Well, do, well Tony Blair said, let me, te let me, Blair, let me ask you, let me ask you if this is in the name of Christianity. Tony Blair, before the Gulf War said, me and George, George Bush, we prayed in the chapel at Camp David. And it was my Christian convictions, my moral Christian convictions that, 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 that yeah, well, he's a Freemason. Well, he lied. maybe he's a Christian and a Freemason. I don't know. Right. But at the end of the day, that is what he, he said. That, was trying to that is what he what said. He that is what he said. Didn't said, Iraq in said, the said, that is what he said. Right. Just as these idiots that go and bomb themselves and say they do it for Islam, just because they say it doesn't make it so. Right? So you can't have double standards. When a Christian says it, it's not because he's Christian. No, what I'm he's doing, not following Christianity. I'm going to the when a Muslim says it, oh he's doing it because he is a Muslim, right? Now he prayed at Camp David. That's what they and say he when said they kill people. Can I just finish? Can, they well, they can well. say what they like. That's what they say. Well, we have to be more pragmatic, more intelligent than that. Just because somebody says something doesn't make it so. It's if it was true, well okay. Let me look at, okay, well, let's look at the evidence. Let's look at the evidence. If, if Islam, if Islam truly preached those things and it truly encouraged violence, why would it be the fastest growing religion in it's England? the fastest growing right? religion in the world. Why would it be the fastest growing religion amongst middle class, educated, often to postgraduate level, and the average time spent seven years in comparative religion? And what religion do they choose? Oh, the religion of violence. The religion that subdues and oppresses yes, and kills absolutely. and encourages people to do that. Absolutely. Well, is that absolutely. rational? Is that rational? You see, Islam is when, dying you, when you look at when you look at countries. when you look at any subject, people are waking up. When to you look at any They're subject, up to it. you don't just look at the things that you interpret, but you also check that if your interpretations are correct, how do they manifest themselves in the actions? And if today people were turning away from Islam, not people coming, not converting, not converting in the numbers. Well, the Gallup poll said, the Gallup poll said that between 2001 and 2011, more than 100,000 people converted to Islam and that was only be and that was Where? only because Where? they changed many? their name on the census and how many and all those thousands of muslims tens of thousands who did not change their name on the census how many muslims don't even appear don't even Britain. appear on the statistics that's the reality Sid. there's been a, look, that's I'll the tell reality. You the reality there's been a report on al jazeera television oh al jazeera on al jazeera television a christian by al qatani is a, a reporter a Christian talking about Al Jazeera. So there were 16. A Christian is using Al Jazeera. Converting per day in Africa from Islam to Christianity, six million per year. And if it continues at this rate, after Islam will soon become irrelevant in Africa. Oh, Sid, 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 Sid. I've been to Africa. I've been to Indonesia, and I see. And listen. His Listen, I've been to Africa. Must be correct. Okay, hold on we a second. Sid, 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 when you give, Islam when you give, Sid, when you give a hungry man a bowl of food, when you give a hungry man a bowl of food, and then with that comes the brainwashing of, of, of accepting Christianity, when many of these tribes you know, oh, yes. you know, are not even very literate.
right? And you convert them to Christianity and you think that as a token, as a measure of how Christianity is spreading. Christianity I've been to Indonesia after the tsunami and I, saw, I, I see the, the Christians and how they come in, do much good work. I'm not going to say that they don't. They do very good work, but with that comes a caveat. And the caveat is come and join the church, become Christian. And this is yes, very. And but this we is. We invite and, them and, to join and, and, the and listen, church. And we this do is, not force them to join the church. This is your agenda. Now, if you're, Syria, if you're comparing. You've been killing people that are not Muslims Sid, and saying down, convert down. or you die. Sid. That's been your message. Sid. Sid. Never in Christianity Sid. do we say convert or you die. Sid. That's the difference. Sid, Sid, difference. Sid, 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 you just, you just, you, hold on, you just washed away. Sid, 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 you must be delusional. Sid, Sid, you have to be delusional if you're telling me that Christianity throughout history hasn't had its incredibly dark events. And you know, the, the, uh, the Crusades are one thing, the Spanish Inquisition, what about that? I mean, please, Sid, let's they not... Weren't following. It's not about point scoring, Sid. No, it is. But we they have to be... Sid, Jesus Sid. Jesus' teaching. Well, exactly. Jesus' teaching exactly. is love the Lord your exactly. God, love your neighbour, exactly. love your enemy. Exactly. The you, teaching Sid. of the Quran yes. is kill disbelievers, yes. wage war against no, those who don't believe in Allah, fight against the Matthias, Sid, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. The Quran. Sid, Sid. You know, hold on a second. So I can tell you Brother, one second. Brother, I don't know what you've been reading. Mate. Brother, please, one second. Brother, one second. Said. 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 You were talking to me, Said. Said. You're talking to me. No, it doesn't. Get me one person that agrees with you that I said. Said. Get me one. Okay. Get me one. Said. What about Michael Adam? Said. Talk to me, Said. Brother, please. Brother, brother, please. Let me deal with him. Let me deal with him. Let me. Let, oh, Sid. You said give me one person. Sid. I'm giving you two people. Sid. Sid. You said give me one person. Sid. I'm giving you two people. Bruv, you're letting him off the hook. You realise that. Yeah, Brother, don't listen, don't talk to him because you're letting him off the hook. No, it doesn't. The reason why he's talking to you, he finds it easier. He can't. He That's why he does it. He's talking Otherwise garbage. he'd ignore you. He's talking garbage. If you put something hard to him, he would he would continue, he would not talk to you. Person. But because it's easy for him, I've got the right Because it's easy, he talks to you instead. Twenty-nine sword verses from the Quran. Sid, Sid, don't be a coward. Talk to me. That's the truth. Sid, stop talking to stop talking to people who are easier to talk to. You know what he, where he's going. Now Harvard University, on the faculty of law, have placed a verse of the Qur'an and they have said, these are their own words, it's one of the most profound legal statements in history from a man in a desert, as Sid claims, who, no, waged, claim who waged war on the world I don't claim and that. promoted injustice, yet Harvard, in their wisdom, have put that verse on the faculty of law and they said it's one of the most profound legal statements in history okay, so let's read the oh ye said don't interrupt me please stand up as witnesses again for god even against yourselves against your parents against your kin whether one is rich or poor in other words in islam Justice is profound and very important. Except now, unless you're a woman when, who's raped, when people, if you're a woman who's when, raped, you have to have four no, witnesses, see, look, look, that's or a, else she has to be accused of when, illegal where does it say, Where does it say that, Sid? In the Quran. You have to have four where? Witnesses. Where does it say that? Okay, you want me a to woman that verse? is raped needs four witnesses. Where does it four say that? Witnesses. Does anyone know the verse? You should. Nobody will know the verse because it doesn't exist. It does exist. What about the verse that says it's permissible? Are you saying that? Are you saying that's a good thing? What's that? Well, that, I read it. that seems to say that God should come before your own parents and relatives. That seems to be saying that. That seems a pretty well, nasty, horrible thing well, to say. Uh, well, I think that the one that gave you your parents 
and your grandparents and your ancestors and the very air you breathe and the very heart that beats within your chest should be given allegiance before anything else so you think that, that including your parents, your parents including your parents yes your allegiance should be to the one your allegiance should be to the one before your own children your and that's well, a mad thing to say. why is that Absolutely. why is that the god that gave you your kids the god that gave you your parents should come before your own children it sounds like child well to me it sounds like you are very confused that's what it sounds like to me yeah it's not, if i sounds confused because i just explained to you that the very parents or the children that you wish to give allegiance to first are given to you by God Almighty. So you offer the allegiance to the one that gives you those things and proportion those things in the manner that he proportioned them. Not to the, fi to the, to the things that were given to you first, but to the one that gives you those things. Yes, I do believe that. But normally there shouldn't be a conflict between uh, parents loving their Of course there doesn't have to be. Of course there doesn't have to be. Of course there is no conflict. Uh, as long as there is the, in the same of course. God, if they choose to believe in a different God, I guess there might be a bit of conflict. Of course there will be. Absolutely. Yeah, in that case, it would Absolutely. be okay to back up Absolutely. God and disown Absolutely. your children. It's not about disowning. It's about standing up for what you believe and, 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 being, and, being, and being just. And ultimately, you have to be just to yourself first by recognizing that the one that gave you your children, if they become disobedient to your creator, then you cannot effectively accept that, accept that in that way. Uh, you have to rectify them, you have to encourage them, tell them I think that they've so gone sad. astray. I think it's so sad that you you want to back up this imaginary being ahead of your own children. I think well, I think, I, I think it's sad that you're deluded in what you think, but at the end of the day, if one but at person, the end of the day, but at the end of the day, we person, can be sad for one another. If one person believes something for which there is no evidence, they're called mad. If millions of people believe something for which there's no evidence, they call it a religion. Yes. What? That sounds crazy. So, what do you believe in then? All sorts of things. And they're all provable, are they? Analytically and empirically? Uh, we've had this conversation. Yes, we have. So, and I'm surprised and that you're bringing it up again. I read the book you got. And I'm quite surprised that you're bringing it up again, quite frankly. Oh, because you dealt with it so effectively. Well, I think, I think that you admitted that it wasn't empirical and analytical. And in fact, a lot of the things that you do believe are not based upon empiricism. And then now you, you bring the same assertion back to me. So, I, yes, I find it very okay, astonishing. Right. Yes. I said earlier, so in the Quran, yes. if a woman is raped, just have four witnesses. And he said to me, where's the verse? Yes. The verse is Surah 4, 15. So it says, and those of your women who commit illegal sexual intercourse, take the evidence of four witnesses from amongst you against them. If they testify, confine them to their houses until death comes to them, or Allah ordains for them some other way. And also in 24, 6 to 8, those, those who accuse chaste women produce not four witnesses, flog them with 80 stripes, reject their testimony forever. It's quite clear a woman has to have four witnesses of her purity. Sid, are you mad? What? Where's the word rape in there, Sid? Well, the word rape isn't there. Oh! 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 The word rape oh, isn't in there, Sid. For a woman to give evidence oh, of her purity. Oh! No, he doesn't say that, Sid. It does say that. Sid, I tell you what, it does say. Evidence of her purity. Sid, I tell you, Sid, exactly. Sid, I'll tell you what it does say. Sid, I'll tell you what it does say. Sid, what does it say? It says if somebody accuses a woman yes. of impurity, it is they who have to produce the four witnesses. Otherwise, all four of their testimony will be discarded and they are the ones that will be flogged for making that assertion against that woman. 
That's what it says, Sid. And you know that's what it says, Sid. And you're trying your trickery yeah. to convince these people yeah. that you're being genuine, when in fact you're being dishonest, Sid. Why are you being dishonest, Why being dishonest Sid? Yeah, Why can't you be honest, Sid? Because he, he doesn't Isn't it better to be honest than dishonest? Hey? Now, in Islam, if you accuse a woman of illegal sexual says intercourse. Here. Says here. You have to provide for witnesses. If she bears witness. Listen, you've lost the Allah. argument. Let me just finish no, my point now. <laughs> you've clearly said, you clearly <laughs> have <laughs> said. Clearly, <laughs> said, said, avert the said please from her. Said, put it away. You don't know what you're reading anyway. Said, you don't know how to read. Now listen. <laughs> Chapter two. Now, if you accuse a woman, if you accuse a woman of being unchaste in Islam, it's a very serious accusation. You have to provide four witnesses that have to actually see the intercourse before she will be given that, uh, that uh, the, 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 the guilty verdict, as it were, of doing that. Now, where are you ever going to find that level of that burden of proof? Never. But it gives the assertion, it, it makes the assertion that God detests whether a man or a woman behaves in that way. But the burden of proof that Allah places is so strong that in reality you would never get a conviction. That's the exactly. reality. So now, women, so women now are never in, Islam, in Islam, in Islam, a woman's testimony and DNA evidence is enough to convict a man of rape, because in Islam, a woman is regarded as chaste. And if she accuses somebody, it's from that point. Woman is regarded it is, as it is, in, in it Islam. Is, it is from that point two, of view. Two, 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 three. It is from the wives of your tilth. You can plough them whenever you please. Oh, oh, please. What about, Sid, what about Shura 434? Sid, 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 with all due respect. If in a woman Sid, you find disobedience. This is the machine gun fire. That, the, then throw her out Remember the, bed, the machine gun fire her. that I told you then about? What is your Bible? Remember the machine gun Bible. fire that I told you about? Whenever you corner Sid, Sid what is your Bible? and you answer his lies, because they were lies, because he's completely misrepresented that. No, I haven't. What does, do? what does he do? What does he do? What does he do? Sid, it does not require a woman to have four witnesses for rape. That's an absolute fact. Well, it's, it's, That's well, it's a giver. No, it doesn't say that, Sid. It does say that. Sid, it doesn't. Sid, you're really grasping at straws and you're sinking fast. Why don't you give up? When you shall avert the you know, punishment why don't you give up, Sid? if she has yeah. four witnesses. Sid, okay, look, Sid just accept what it, thing, it shows you. That's your book. Well, I've asked you Listen, for evidence I, of what I you're saying. I told you last time. You no I, evidence at I told all. you last time. Except your book. I don't debate children. Except Let your me book. debate your your I'm boss. Except your book. Let me debate your boss, like I told you last time. Be sensible. Friend, Be boss. sensible. <laughs> right now. To read the Quran and the, if it is your well, all he's doing is look. I could do the same thing. I could go through the Bible. Yeah, pick up. Pick up verses of violence. Because Allah has I could made pick one up. I could pick up verses where he talks about women in a degrading way. I, I could talk, I could take out verses where it says shave their head off if they go out in public. As right? those women but I'm not going to do that. I'm, I don't need to do that. Because to share their things taken out of context, things, th things taken out of context are not sensible. What we should be looking at is if you claim these things, Sid, in the Western world, in the educated, sophisticated part of the world that we live in, why is Islam the number one religion that people convert to? They're not. That's it's not the question. The, the Mori poll. The Goebbels lie. The Mori. The Mori. The, the Mori. The Mori poll. Popularity. The Mori poll. The Mori poll. Just because something's the, popular doesn't make if it true. If it takes five of you it's to try to defeat me, anyway. you've got to ask yourself the question. You're, you're lying. Trying, you're trying too when hard. You're, you're trying too hard. About well, being. guys, Neither with all due respect, right. with, all due, with all due respect, with all due respect, yeah, with all due, with all due respect, if it takes five of you to try to defeat me, you've got to ask yourself the question. That maybe my argument is a lot stronger you're than you lying. think. You're a blatantly dying. Okay, go, you know okay. Well. You know go, go on your phone. Is dying as go on your phone. Go on your go on your phones oh, now oh, and Google it now. The Mori poll said that between 2001 and 2011, more than a hundred thousand people in this country, average age of 27, average time spent in comparative religion, seven years, Sid. 
So we're not talking right. about somebody who's dabbled. We're talking we're talking about somebody who's really extensively okay. well, studied. Can, Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish, please? And how many converted Sid, to Christianity? I know, in it's, that time? I know it's difficult, Sid, but you've got to be patient. Why Sid? would that no. make a difference? No, Sid, Sid, you're Sid, asking the question. Sid, Sid be more patient. More people converted to Islam Sid, than converted to Christianity. You're spoiling my punchline. So what are the figures? What's you're, the figure? you're spoiling my punchline, oh, Sid. Come on. Go on then, you comedian. Right. Do your punchline. So, Sid. Be calm, sir. We're having an enjoyable discussion here. You don't have to get upset. Don't get upset. upset. Okay. Right. So, Sid, average time spent seven years in comparative religious study and the average education level, postgraduate level. And 72%, now this is a shocker. Sid, let me hold you up just in case you fall down. 72%. Can you believe that? No. That I'll tell you Islam. why. I'll tell you 72 why. 72%. Oh, no. It goes against every no, it does not. stereotypical notion. No, it does that not. That Sid wishes to propagate. No, it does not. That I'll Sid wishes to why. propagate. I'll tell you why. The reason why women convert to Islam is because they fall in love with a Muslim man. Why? And they're told, they're told, unless they convert, they cannot marry. Well, Sid, I haven't found that one yet. And Muslim men are told to target. Christian women, non-Muslim women, are they? <laughs> are they? for this very reason. Sid, well, I've never no, heard that. Do you know what that mosque? Do you, do you know what mosque preaches that? Sid, that is the truth. What what mosque preaches that? That is the truth. What mosque? The majority. What imam? What imam? What mosque? Your figures. What, what, what imam? Of people converted to what, Islam. What evidence do you have to support that? They want to marry a Muslim Sid, man. Sid, do you have any evidence? Who's going to bring in a Zoroastrian to to increase the madness that's being? Well, I'm not being mad. I think Sid is though. Sid is all Sid. Off the top. Zoroastrian religion's been destroyed. It's been wiped out. Oh, and that makes it wrong because it's been wiped out. Well, it was just, it was when Heraclius destroyed all their fire temples. It's all men. I don't know. Bring them if they're here. If they, are they? Punishment? No. For adultery in Christian religion. Okay. Well, when a woman caught in adultery was brought before Jesus, Jesus said, "Is anyone?" Has anyone who hasn't sinned cast the first stone? Yeah. But, uh, they the all went this away. I know. Yeah. And he said, does it, does it say that? In, does it say that in the oldest manuscript, Sid? And he said, where the people are Do you find that verse in the oldest and manuscript, said, Sid? Where he said, neither do I Sid, condemn Sid. you. Go and don't sin. Do you anymore. find those verses in Jesus the oldest manuscripts? Jesus is preaching forgiveness Jesus of sin offers no. throughout, the gospels, throughout the gospels. No, no, no. Cast the first stone. No do you find that verse in the oldest tent. manuscripts? It's consistent with the rest of Jesus' teaching. The story of the adulterous woman, yeah. It doesn't, it's, not, it's not in the oldest manuscripts. One of the main parts of Jesus' teaching in all the gospels is the forgiveness Sir, with all due respect, if you quote a verse and it's not in the oldest manuscripts, it's questionable, isn't it, really? It's consistent with it's Jesus' preaching the not, forgiveness well then, of sin. That's fine. And that's why Jesus well, that's fine. died for us, Sir. so that we can be freed from sin. With all due respect, we've got to, if you, if you raise a, 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 a verse, it's got to be in the oldest manuscript. If it's not there, then, you know, we're, we're on dodgy ground. Sid, are you willing to come back again? Sid, come back, come back to me, Sid, come back to me. Right. Anything else, Sid, that I need to clear up for you? <laughs> Sid, one day you become Muslim, you know? <laughs> Only Christianity Sid, preaches love. Sid, you smiled a little bit and then you went Only angry again. Christianity. Sid, I saw a little smirk, a little smile. Love the Lord your God. And then you went, love then you went your back, neighbor. back love angry again. You won't find anything. salvation anything. in Christ, but not in Muhammad. Jesus said, love the Lord your God, love Muhammad. Islam is the only religion, other than Christianity, that makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus, peace be upon him. We don't just say Jesus, we say Jesus, peace be upon him. We have to, we have to say that after all of the prophets, out of respect, yeah. which is, which is something that even you don't say, Sid. And in the right? Quran, which is something, Jesus does miracles. Sid, Sid, yes, yes, of course he does. Jesus is the Messiah. Of course, of course, of course. Jesus is the word from God. Of course, of course. Muhammad is none of those things. Of course. Jesus is born of a virgin. Sid. Yes, yes. And the one born of a virgin is God with us. Yes, Muhammad is powerless. Not in the Quran, Sid. Muhammad is powerless. Sid. Sid, no what does Jesus say when he performs his miracles in the Bible? Yeah. I, cast, I cast out devils and I bring the dead, from, dead alive. 
with the finger of the finger of God. He cast out demons. Everyone say Hallelujah. in the unanimous. Hallelujah. The finger of God. God. Does he say? 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 Sid, 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 Sid. He never had the finger of God to help him. Sid, calm down. Only Jesus. Do you want some Evian? Do you want some Evian to cool you down? I've got. What about the future? I've got spare bottles. Does Muhammad know the future? Do you want an Evian? In the Quran, Sid. Do you want an Evian? I do not know what's going to happen to you or to me. I'm a plain warrior, Sid. Please, do you want? Sid, do you want? Jesus know the future. Sid, absolutely. Jesus offers salvation. Sid, Muhammad offers. Sid, do you want an Evian? Sid, do you want an Evian to cool you down a bit? Come on! Sid, it's not the cheap stuff, this is quite good. Jesus is the way of salvation. Sid, Sid. Only Jesus. Right, not okay. Muhammad. All right, Sid. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, okay. What does it mean okay. Now, Islam makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus, peace be upon him, but Allah says something very... But you deny the crucifixion. Sid? It's an historical Sid, fact. can I have a chance? So we know the Quran Sid. is disproved historically. Sid. Because it says Jesus wasn't I thought I thought Christians were we know it's wrong. I thought the Christians were supposed to be more charitable. But you're lying. More controlled. You're lying. Less angry. You're lying. But you're the, you show, you're showing yourself up because the Muslim man What's your here, evidence that Jesus The Muslim man here is calm. He's collected. He's humorous. He's making them you know engaging with the crowd. He's making them laugh. What's your and, evidence and that Jesus Sid, wasn't And Sid, you're just shouting and screaming, Sid. It's not very Christian, is it, Sid? <laughs> I ask you, what's your evidence? No evidence right. for anything. Well, Sid, you're, you're shouting and screaming. You let, you have I can't to, answer you. You have to let me open my mouth. How, on, then. how can you get evidence What's your evidence for, for the fact Jesus sure, wasn't crucified? Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> well, there's a couple of things. There's a couple of things. Well, there are... Well, look, Sid's asked me a question. Why do I think Jesus was not crucified? Crucified, yes? Yeah. There's a couple of things there for me that cause me problems. Now I'll ask you one or two. Your of them. evidence. Jesus said when he's asked about uh, the miracle, he says there will be no miracle except for the sign of Jonah. No sign except for the sign of Jonah. Jesus is putting all peace be upon him, is putting all of the eggs in one basket now. No sign except for the sign of Jonah. For as Jonah was, I'll, I'll talk a little bit like Sid. For as Jonah was, three days and three nights in the belly of the whale, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three day nights in the belly of the earth. Right now. So that means he was going to die. Hold on. Rise again. Hold on. That was the miracle. Of, what was the miracle of Jonah, everyone? Was it the time factor? Or was it that when you expect a man to die in the belly of the whale and God does not allow him to die? He is alive. He is saved from death. That was the sign. That's the miracle of Jonah, right? The so sign of Jonah. Jesus Hold on. I haven't finished uh, uh, um, oh, okay. Sid. Jesus is greater than Jonah. Well, let, and not very well we can go into that, but no sign except for the sign of Jonah. Yeah. And the sign of Jonah was that for three days and three nights, when he's swallowed by the belly of the whale, in the belly of the whale, he is alive. So that's your evidence. It's not about time factor. Now, 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 so we ask the question, if Jonah was alive, then therefore the miracle of Jesus must also be the same, which he must have been alive and not dead, right? We don't know that Jonah so, didn't die. So, so, when it, so when it says, from that time Jesus began to show his disciples, he must go to Jerusalem, suffer many things from the elders, chief priests and scribes, yes. be killed and be raised the third day. You see, the thing your, is, Sid, your, the Bible says your many reference things. to Jonah counts Sid, 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 the Bible says many things. The Bible says over and over The Bible, the Bible, the Bible says. Was crucified and Madam, I'm not being disrespectful of the Bible. No, no, I'm not. No, no, no. I'll tell you why I'm not being disrespectful. Madam, ma Madam, I'll tell you why I'm not being disrespectful to the Bible. Because the Quran, because the Quran <coughs> affirms that the people of the book, in other words, revelation given to the prophets before i.e. Moses and Jesus, peace be upon them, was revelation from God. So as a Muslim, yes, so as, as a Muslim, as a Muslim, I have to revere 
the words, the inspiration that was given to Jesus, peace be yeah, upon him. Yeah, but you don't. Hold on a second. Because you say Sid, Jesus wasn't crucified. Sid, Sid, The Bible Sid, says Jesus is Sid, the judge. Sid, hold the on a second. The Quran Sid, says hold on Allah is Sid, the judge Sid, and hold, not Jesus. Sid, hold on a second. Sid, hold on a second. The Quran directly Sid. contradicts now, the Bible. Now, the thing over is, over madam, again. we're told over in over the Quran that okay. Jesus preached the Injil. Injil? The Injil, yes. I know you're confused by that word. No, no, but if you, man, you but, are confused. No, no, but no, 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 you, should, you look confused by the word Injil. But if you go into the Arab Bibles, even the, the ones in Urdu, in Pakistan, in, in Asia, and in fact, if you go to the Latino Bibles, yes. you find the, that Jesus preached the Injilio. Even in the Latino Bibles, it uses the word Injilio. Now, isn't it amazing? that the Qur'an talks about the Injil and you do find that in your own Bibles today yes. but yet in your modern Bibles today you don't find those words those words have been removed okay so let's, so, let's see what so, the so, so, though, so though I don't disrespect uh, the Bible you though, do disrespect the Bible Sid, Sid, with all no, due respect <laughs> Sid, Sid, with all due respect though I don't say that everything in the Bible is false because I would be wrong <laughs> for saying that but you have to be honest, madam. I am. And honesty dictates that when you have a revelation that is scattered all over the world with different chapters, different That's verses, nonsense. different books, nonsense. different That's denominations, utter nonsense. different beliefs. You, nonsense. Sir, That's with all due respect, if you go to the... If you want to talk Sid, about the manuscript Sid, tradition, Sid, let's talk about the manuscript of the Quran. Is, is the adulterous woman in the, found in the oldest manuscripts? Well, okay, how many... What about Surah 980? Well, I'm talking about the Bible, the Sid. I'm Sana. talking about the Bible, Sid. Okay. Oh, so do we you talk find about the Quran? we can? But let's talk about okay, what I've just said to you. First. Do you okay. find those verses in your oldest complete manuscripts? John, the, the story of the Bible manuscript of the Bible we've got is the Codex Sinaiticus, yes. which is dated at 325. Yeah. Do you find that verse in there? Which is in the British Library. Anyone can go and look at it. All the earlier papyrus we've got reflects what's in the Codex Sinaiticus. Those that verse verses in are there. not in the Codex Sinaiticus. Right, Sinaiticus. they're not in there. No. Right, they're not in there. That right, now, Codex now, is the most right. reliable now, I'm going to be got now, I'm, Sid, not in that I'm going to be charitable, okay. Sid. I'm going to be charitable, Sid. There are things in the Bible that are indeed from God. So when Jesus says, Worship thy father as a son worships thy father, I have no problem with that. Where, what's that verse because, you're quoting? Uh, no idea, but I'm sure you'll know no, where it is. No, it's not. Because <laughs> you're, you're making up a verse from the Bible. <laughs> Worship thy father. Said, I've got no idea. But, well, can somebody pull it out? Verse. If somebody knows, please pull it out I'll for me. I'll tell you this. Worship in, thy father as a son. I was a, in Parliament. Sid, calm down. Muslim, Sid. The quote in a verse from the Quran. He just goes off on one, doesn't he? It was a non-existent He doesn't even let me speak. He's just quoted a non-existent verse from the Bible. Does Jesus not say that? No, he didn't say that. Worship thy father as you see the son worship thy father. No, he doesn't like, say that. He doesn't say that, okay. Nothing well, like maybe it. I'll pull the verse Anywhere. out, put it on YouTube and then show you up. It does say that. Okay. No, he doesn't say in the that. Garden of Anywhere. In the Garden of Gethsemane, how, how does it show Jesus praying? Okay, well let's have a look, let's have a read, shall we? And see what Jesus says. How does it show him praying? Madam, how does it show him praying? How does it show him praying? How? I told you why. Not why, how? Let's have a look. Where does he put his face? How does Jesus pray? Jesus spoke these words, lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that the glory Son may glorify you. And now, O oh Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory I had with you before the world was. So he prays to God. When Jesus prayed, does he, he lifted up his eyes to heaven. Does he throw his face to the ground? Once matter. he did. Once he Another did. Another time he didn't. Yes. He did. The man does, Moses, he he the many the does Moses in the Old Testament put his palms of his hand and his knees and his face onto the ground Moses and worship his Lord? Many different ways. Yes. Yes. Don't miss the important yes. thing. Yes. Jesus was saying yes. that he is God in that prayer. You didn't exactly. hear that. So with all, didn't so, so with all, exactly. so, Jesus is saying so with all, he is eternal God. So, so with all due respect, so, so with all due respect, is. you yes. know that we differ in our view from that. Your assertion and your interpretation of those verses is to, to, to you. no, not useless. You don't believe it. No, no. Well, 
Well, there's many you things. Feet, then go another one. Well, Jesus well, madam, this is my stand, and the Christian Sid came and spoke oh, to me on my stand. Okay, no, so it's not. I, I didn't approach it's him. This speaker's corner. I didn't approach. Well, I didn't approach you, Sid. Muslim speaker's Sid. corner. Sid. Yeah, Sid. Christians shouldn't be allowed Sid. here. No, I didn't. Only Muslims should Sid. be allowed Sid. here. Sid, I didn't approach <laughs> you. Sid, I didn't approach you. You approached me. So when she no, went, actually, I was so here the, first. Well, Sid. So what? All those banners were set up after you got here. No, you had the banners first. Sid, come on, another lie, Sid. Lying. This is it's all right. It's okay. It's right. He made a mistake. Let's be charitable. Let's, read, let's, let's, not, let's, not, call, let's not call him a liar. Let's be let's charitable. Jesus let's say he made a mistake. Thus it was written, it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And you are witnesses of these things. Do you believe that, That's what I've just read? What I believe is that Jesus, peace be upon him, was a prophet of Allah, uh, Do you believe what I've just read? Oh, yes or no? Well, I, I, I can't verify that because I have no criteria to verify that, Sid. Because the, yeah. the problem that you have is that unfortunately you don't have the criteria yourself to verify that. I do that. have the criteria to verify that. What you have, that. you have is the best Sorry. guess. Jesus himself, peace be upon him, said, okay. there will come after me a prophet who says Many he comes false in my prophet. name, okay. but Many he will be a false prophet. Yeah. Beware of him. Now, who's he talking about? There's only two other prophets after Jesus, peace be upon him. <laughs> <laughs> and Masih Dajjal, eh? the Antichrist and the Prophet Muhammad, blessed peace be upon him. Now, which is the false one? Which is the false one, I ask you? Because okay. Muhammad, blessed peace be upon him, says Jesus is not the Son of God. Okay. He said he didn't go to the cross for us. I can't believe it! Where How is Jesus not going to the cross? Why don't you calm down? Calm down. What's, what's, what's going on? Like what's going on with you, bruv? Calm down, man. Jesus well, you've got no evidence. Listen. We've Listen. challenged you to produce oh, evidence. Well, let, me give you, evidence. let me give you evidence. Let me give you evidence. Let me give you evidence then. In uh, Deuteronomy, well, in, in Deuteronomy 1818. When it tells Moses that we should raise a prophet from your brethren, like Moses, yeah. like Moses, yeah. like from Moses. And in whose, from from whose name was he going to say? Four Christians. I've got four Christians. Yes, all trying so hard. But they won't let the Muslims speak. And we are supposed to be the oppressors and the aggressors and the angry ones. You know, but the Muslims not being allowed to even speak. And the Christians are, are being so charitable, they're supposed to, they're book, and Jesus taught them such humility and charity that they won't even let the Muslims speak. Why do you like condemning people? Sorry? Make your point. Right, now, he says, like Moses. Now, let's look at the similarities with Jesus and Moses. First of all, first of all, first of all, how do you know Jesus? Here we go again. Look, here we go again. That's what that gentleman said. He just won't let me talk, will he? All he can do is change Sid, the subject. Sid, That's all he can do. Sid, all, you, all you've done is done what I call machine so gun I've fire. I've asked you. You've asked like uh, you made, What evidence you made, have you got? Jesus didn't die on the cross. I just gave you some. All you can do I just gave is you say, some. well, Jesus said this. No, I've okay. shown you the other one, where Jesus said well, very well, clearly the other one is, that he did die Jesus, and that he did rise other, again. The, the other one is, very clearly. The other one is that um, when he goes to the upper room to break honeycomb and bread, is it? Is that right? The bread and Jesus. wine. Bread and yeah. wine, okay. Yeah. Oh, there was no, no honeycomb. Is, that's no honeycomb. No, yeah. no honeycomb, sorry, right. Before okay. the crucifixion. Okay. And honeycomb. The night before yeah. he died. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. Yes, what did he say? And the, this the, is my uh, blood of the new covenant, uh, which is shed for many yeah. for the forgiveness of sins. That's yeah. what Jesus said. So Jesus' okay. death on the so cross. Okay. Jesus so, was so, dying. So, 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 so Sid, when, when Jesus refers to the sign of Jonah, yeah. Was that sign I fulfilled? You got something separate. No, was that was that sign fulfilled? Well, it wasn't yes, very Jesus similar. was. How? Yes. How? Did die? How? And did spend part of three days. How is that like in Jonah? How is that like Jonah? In the belly of the earth. Because Jesus said yeah. he was going to spend part of three days in the belly of the earth before he rose again. Part he of three. Part of three days. Again. Part. Yes, part of three days. Oh, oh, I see why you say part because he was crucified. Three days and a half. Exactly, because it was Good Friday. Apparently, he was crucified. Is that right? Part of Friday. All of Saturday, yeah. part of Sunday. So it wasn't. So it wasn't three days and three nights then, said no. no it was an expression. All oh, right, it was an expression. Okay, and so, so um, the miracle 
was not that he was alive. You're saying the miracle was that it was similar in terms of time to Jonah. That's what Jonah. Jesus was saying. But it wasn't. I'm going to spend, as Jonah was in the belly of the whale for three days, I'm going to spend three days away from you. Three days and I'm three nights. I'm going to die, spend three days earth. away three, three from three you. Three days and three nights. In the belly of the oh, earth, and I'm going to rise again. It says three days and three nights. Right. Yes, it's an expression. Did he spend three days and three nights in the belly of the it's earth? It's an expression. Have I'm, you heard of I'm this? I'm just asking you a question. You, know, you don't understand, it's innocent, can you? It's an you don't innocent, want to understand. It's an innocent question. Did he spend three days and three nights in the belly of the earth? No. What did I say when you asked me last time? No, did, not did, he, did he or did he not? What did I say when he asked me? When last Jesus time? says no sign except for the sign of Jonah, he's putting all his eggs in one basket, Sid. Well, the three resurrection three is the important thing. Now, 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 Jesus now, now again. the miracle Hallelujah. of Jonah. Was well, the man is alive today. Give him some water. Calm alive. him down with Evian. No. Give him some Evian. Do you want some Evian? Mohammed's dead and stayed dead. You want dead. some it's Evian? Never coming again. Do you want some Evian? Jesus is coming again. You know, not you know, next to the grave. Hallelujah. You know, the next yeah. to the grave Hallelujah. of Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yeah. Jesus, he will come back again. Peace 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 next to the grave of Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the Caliph, uh, Abu Bakr, and Umar. And next to that. Next to and, that, and, and did they know where they and, were going? And next Muhammad to that, didn't know what's going to happen and to it. Said, said, did Abu Bakr and Umar said, know what's going to happen to it? Said Abu Bakr and Umar, and next to and Abu Bakr, to be said, there's another he's grave empty to next to Muhammad. I thought the evidence is there's, the a, evidence there's, a, there's, is. A, there's a grave empty next to Muhammad's peace be upon him. Is there? Yes. In Medina, yeah. And who's that for? Do you know? He needed your peace. Surely, is that for Jesus? Yeah, it is. Oh, he's Salih Salam for Jesus. Well, the tomb is empty. So the Bible says Jesus coming again. We even have a grave ready for him. Because he will live and he will die. He will live and he will die. And when he and when he and when he and when he comes back, who is he going to associate himself with? He's going to judge the world. Matthew five seventeen, where he talks about the law, the people who abide by the law. What's the last verse of Matthew five? The Ten Commandments. If I ask something, yeah. What? Let me just tell you this. Make a grave for someone who's dead. I don't expect it for you today, so I make today a grave for you. That's false, totally false. What? Well, he's made a grave for somebody who's not even here. I assume people will think you you already dead, but that's not it. You get what I'm saying? No, so but sometimes you, families that love one another, the father, the mother get buried. Sometimes what the children do is they buy plots next to their parents because they wish to be together. They've made a grave for somebody who's not even well, here. So, so, so because of the prophethood, is a huge link and so because of that link there is a grave that is set aside for prophet isa alayhi salam prophet jesus okay. when he comes back for okay. exactly so that means all the prophet before there was and they are buried there, there. that's why you make jesus grave right there is that what that so means all of the prophets is, are there. but is that what that means and it means that because it doesn't they are mean that, related no. they have no. to be great you know that's that's really that's grasping at straws yes, yes, and that's what it's not really it's a straw man argument i think you have quoted matthew 517 yeah let's see what it says let's see what jesus says let's see read the Bible everyone. Do not think I've come to destroy the law of the prophets. I did not come to destroy them but to fulfill them. And then what does he say? He didn't say I'm Christian. You therefore shall be perfect as your father in heaven is perfect. How can you be perfect? Tell me. Only with God's help. Sid, let me read the full Matthew 5.17 for you because you seem to, you, you missed out quite a huge chunk there. I read Matthew may, may, Maybe accidentally, Sid. I haven't missed any of Matthew I'm not, I'm not saying that you did it deliberately because I wouldn't. Jesus! You wouldn't do that. Fulfills the law oh, by bringing in Let's have a look. the law of forgiveness. Shall I read it, Sid? No, no, in no. In the no, next no. verse. Sid, no, no, no. In the we, next, we have to keep it Sid, in the next chapter. Shall I read it? He says, Sid, when you pray, Sid, pray, Sid, forgive us our sins. Sid, we forgive shall I, sh those Sid, who sin against shall us. Shall I read this? If you do not forgive, Hello? you will not oh, yes. be forgiven. Yeah, Earth calling Sid. Sid. When he gave them the uh, Sid. Holy Communion, Hello, Sid. Can I just in there? This is my blood of the new Sid. covenant, which is poured out for many Sid. for the forgiveness of sin. Brother Sid. When he rose from the brother dead, Sid, brother this Sid, can doctrine I just, of his oh, death will be there? preached throughout all nations. Sid, can I just get in That's there? Happening. That's the message Sid? of how yeah. Jesus Sid? fulfilled the law. Can I just get in there, Sid? It wasn't a new set of rules he produced. Brother Sid, can I just get in there? And we know he didn't produce a new set of Sid? rules Sid? because he said you've got to be perfect. Can I read the verse, And that's what's at the end can of I, the chapter Can I read the verse, Sid? Can I read the verse, Sid? Yeah. Is that all right? I've just read the context. Have you listened to what I said? Can I read the verse, Sid? Is that all right? You can read it again. I've just read it. You can read it. 
do yeah. not think that I have come to abolish the law of the prophets. Yes, but to yeah, fulfill them. Okay. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. Okay, how did he fulfill them? Yeah. For I truly that's say to verse, you, verse no, for I truly Are say you to you, until heaven and earth pass no, away, no. not an iota, exactly. not a dot, that's right, that's right, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Exactly. All is fulfilled. You have to so how is how is this Jesus fulfilled? Therefore. The law? Whoever relaxes, Sid, relaxes. I agree with that. One of the least of these commandments and teaches others the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. You know, reading verse 19. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Exactly. I believe that. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds the scribes and the Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Now read verse 48. No, no, hold on a second. Verse 48, yeah, before we get there. No, read verse 48 now. Before we get there. No, read verse 48. Okay. Let's have a look. 48. You therefore must be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Okay, so that's what Jesus is saying. You must be perfect. If you now then, the law, how does on, he on. fulfill the law? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Which is perfection. Right. He says that. Okay. How do you fulfill it? Okay, so are you saying then that... The, no, I'm uh, asking you no, the no, question. How no, do you fulfill no, the no, law? No, no, well, uh, fulfilling something means that you, you do it. Okay. Right? And you complete you actively, it. You actively take part in it. If, for example, I have a set of rules, and I've come to fulfill those rules, okay. and then I tell everyone, um, because I've done this now, all of those rules should be discarded. That means that's not fulfillment. That's abolishing those laws. Okay. Abolishing that, abolishing that, isn't it? Okay. Right? Now, my question to you is this, Sid. All those who preach those, the same, that is not to abide by those laws, will be known least no. in the kingdom of heaven. No, Hold on, let me ask that. the question. No, no, let me ask you the question. So if you argue that by Jesus being crucified, he fulfilled those laws, yes. does that mean now that by you preaching to people that you don't have to be circumcised, that you can eat ham, no, you can eat pork, right? And teaching others to do that is acceptable? Is Absolutely. It is acceptable. Because oh, Jesus okay. said, when well, oh. they asked so him the first and great commandment in the law, okay. you shall love the Lord your God, okay. you shall love your neighbour. Okay. On these two commands depend yes. all the law and the prophets. So you yeah. can preach now, to people now not to keep now, the commandments that Jesus kept. It, yes. Well, yes. Jesus says in that chapter you've read, if you hate somebody, you've murdered them. If you look upon a woman lustfully, I'm, I'm not, I'm not you commit adultery. I'm not asking about those things. I'm talking about all no, the that's what Jesus all the teaching. Thing, all the things that Jesus, Jesus said. You've got to be perfect. You see, Sid, look, so, can I, can Sid cannot be Sid, perfect Sid, without. You know, without look, Forgiveness. Sid, listen, it's listen. The only way Sid, you can look, be let's engage. With the, with the Holy Spirit, let's engage sensibly, you're Sid. Growing up, growing Sid, up. Sid, look, Sid, perfect, look if you saw Muhammad, Jesus, Moses, peace be upon all of them, walking down this park today, yes, you would not find it. You'd find it difficult to distinguish how they look, how they pray. What Muhammad how they, and Jesus? How they eat? We, we do of see course. Jesus how they eat, and Moses how they together. Eat, how they eat? Did Muhammad you lift would up find his eyes very to heaven difficult. and pray? You would find it very difficult to distinguish yourself between them. Of course, and not. the reason well, why Muhammad and the Jesus. reason why you would you would reason why you would struggle. Oh, and you see, not. and you see, Sid, this is the amazing thing. Muhammad would be on Sid, a horse killing Sid, people. Sid, <laughs> Jesus would be Jesus would be walking along healing people. Jesus. That's the difference <laughs> between. <laughs> Sid, you're very childish in your I'm argument. Childish, but in really. Testament. Really, we, even we, the Christians we, are laughing, come Sid. On. We do Sid, see Jesus you know, and The funny Moses thing is, together. if it was just the Muslims, right, you could say, all right, fair Muslims. enough. But even your Christian brothers and sisters yeah, here are having, they're having a good giggle. Mama, He's yeah, laughing. You know, what I'm saying really, is Sid. Yeah, it's, really. It's, a, it's a nonsense. Yeah, sorry. But in the it's New Testament, to say Muhammad and Jesus were yeah, both yeah. the same. In the New Testament, we do see Jesus and Moses together. That's when Jesus reveals his glory and we see a clear difference. Difference. This is the transfiguration when Come Jesus, on. with three close disciples, look, went up. And at the end of the day, and, and they sir, fell sir, down sir, and worshipped Jesus. Sir, look, they could see sir, that look, he is Look, God. at the end of the day, I respect your uh, ability to have whatever view you wish to have. If you wish to believe through your scripture and your interpretation of that scripture that God 
became a man yeah. and he died on the cross for, for the wrongs that you or I might yeah. do, yeah. then I give you that full right to believe whatever you want to believe. That's the thing yeah. you I, have no, I have no reason to give any duress or make fun of or mock you for your belief. And we know but, but, historically but, but, but at the end the of the day, but at the end of the, the but at the end of the day, in Islam, our concept, our concept oh, is yeah. Allah says Allah says that, that no soul can bear the burden of another. In other words, whatever wrong you do, yeah. you are responsible for that because yeah. Allah has given you the faculty, okay. whether you say God, if you find it difficult to say Allah, Madam, I'll say God. It's not a problem. Right? God has given you the faculty to reason, to know right from wrong, and so you are responsible for your actions. So Allah, so, right, right. so Allah says, so Allah says that it is you, the individual, you sir, please stay calm. You, you yourself, you yourself are responsible for what you do, and if you do good, if you do good, Good, okay. then you are rewarded. If, you know, if you if you do bad, if you do bad, then just relying on a prophet of God or someone that you say is God, dying on a cross and believing that is not enough to save you. In other words, you have to you have to repent for the bad that you've done. If you've wronged somebody else. You have to rectify that. If I sto if I've stolen your money or damaged your property, then I have to rectify that. I have to ask for your forgiveness, and then I have to ask for Allah's forgiveness. This is justice. This is justice. How can it be just? How can it be just? How can it be just, can it be just? Can it be just? that God has a begotten Son who is innocent, and then gets him killed on a cross for the sins? For the wrongs that you or I have yeah. done yeah. through our own free will. Yeah. That's not just. And only God can take away That's our opinion. Sin. It's the highest form of justice. There is two ways of justice. There is two ways of justice. One is following the law. The second one is taking His grace. Okay. So to go into heaven, you have two chances. If you follow the law, Perfectly. and you are perfectly, then you go to heaven. If you fail one of it, that means you fall. But there is a chance, if you accept Jesus Christ, Christian and you receive his I'm forgiveness, with God, man. then you I'm have love with automatically God. through Hallelujah. him. That's your opinion? No, it's not opinion. Well, of course it is. No, it's not. Well, it is the grace of God. That's, yeah, but, 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 but that's your opinion, isn't it? it is As a Christian. It's from the Bible, isn't yeah. it? Okay, your, your opinion according to the Bible. That's right. Okay, so our, our opinion, Jesus says, don't our, do our, that. Opinion. our opinion. Jesus said, don't just keep praying the same prayers over and over again. Stop shouting so much. It's got no value. All, all I'm saying is that's how Can't you just have a conversation the, without no. shouting? I mean, what would you rather do? Have a God who gives you power to lay your hands on the sick and see them recover, or just say the same prayers well, over and over again? I think you've got to be a good. I think you've got to be a good person, Sid. Sid, I think you've got to be a good person first. And I think you have to. And, and I think I think when you talk about praying to God five times a day, I think it comes to it comes into gratitude, doesn't it? Well, Jesus is it so the very, so God so the very heart that what beats. What sort of God? Will so somebody say the same prayer over and over again five times a day? What sort of God? Well, the thing well, uh, well, 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 well. You see, see, the thing is, it's not God that needs your prayer. They call. We need the prayer, Sid. I'll tell you what. So when we, so when we pray to God, Sid, God needs my when we, prayers. He wants me to talk to him. God, God, God needs. We have a conversation. God needs. God needs. There is a difference. Hold on. Friend. God needs to. Hallelujah. Sid, there's the power. Sid, God needs your prayer. God, God you needs. You could be a friend of God. Sid, God needs your prayer. He wants a relationship no, with me. No, you said yes. needs. You said God has needs? He wants a relationship with me. Does God have needs? No. I believe God created man for a relationship. Who are we in Muslims? Who are we to God? Sid, the slave. Sid, it's a simple question. Sid. Why? Yeah. Exactly. He doesn't need anything, Sid. We need God, Sid. God doesn't need us. Christianity, we are to God, a children of God. For Muslims, we are a slave of God. Is that right? It is from the Quran. Brother, can I say one thing to you? 
left, right room? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so and that's the difference. Is okay. Here is son and father relationship. Yes. Here you have uh, slave and master Brother, you know, relationship. You know slave and... Yeah, what, what is this? What is this? He, 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 God bless you, he, he, Sid. It's he, nice speaking he, to you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Do you want some water, by the way, Sid? I've forgot the Evian if you'd like a bottle. It was some Give Sid a bottle of Evian, please, from my bag. Yeah. As a gift, as a little token of our friendship. God, he has the right... My rucksack. Uh, Anis, if you don't mind, there's a bottle of water in there. I didn't. He doesn't hate us. He, he, he knows he knows that we're right, but he's still got a you know. Yes, it's nice and cold for you. Thank you very much. God bless. God bless you. See you later, Sid.